<laughs> hey everybody, welcome on in. Hey, there's Miguel Cervantes. <laughs> welcome to Workout Wednesday. I got a little, I slept funny, so I got a little crick in my shoulder here. We're gonna wait for people, people to come in. You woke up looking funny too. I woke up looking funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jokes I, do I know, terrible. Let's share the broadcast for me, everybody. There we go. We got at least one person watching. <laughs> I forgot to announce this. Hey, Sandy, welcome on in. Good morning to you. Forgot to announce this last night. We'll see how many people we get to show up. Share the broadcast for me. I'm going to share it on my pages real quick. But last week we went from the perfect plank, and now we're going to do the perfect push up. All right. Let me pin this at the top. Tap and share for me real quick, everybody. Miguel, tell us about you while they're coming in. Okay. What's your uh, this awesome community? Community page, yeah. That you're probably a part of already. Miguel's fitness community just got like over 300 likes. Yay! Like, since like late April. It's going awesome. <laughs> Miguel's People fitness are, community. People uh, are uh, commenting a lot on the videos. Uh-huh. Uh, which, is, which is great because that's where I get content for other videos. I don't, I don't just like think, oh, um, what do I want to talk about? I want to know what you want to know about. Okay. Um, so the last video was based on somebody's question, sit-ups and versus crunches. And so you can go ahead and check that one out. So it's accompanied by a very nice in-depth article from credible from a credible source. <laughs> and uh, so then now we're going to get into some push-ups uh, to kind of take it a step further from our planking. Okay. How long you been doing this for? Uh, since. It's on and off since 2005. Working out since 2005. You were an athlete. Working out since. Oh, never. You were an athlete before, right? Wor workout was in freshman year of high school. Ah. Freshman year of high school. We got some people in from Australia. They're watching. It's 10 p.m. in Australia. Montclair, California is in the house. Hi, Dahlia. Charlene, welcome on in. Uh, did you realize you're going to be worldwide, Nikhil? No, that's awesome. Do you think? I think our last one we had a question about last video last Wednesday about an ACL what are the best exercises for <laughs> for uh, Was it ACL, ACL or shoulder yeah both yeah both and shoulders oh that's a great one yeah so whoever wrote you know sending that question for the shoulder I'm, we're gonna show you right here on this ball right now today yep, 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 yep. okay so what we're gonna do is um, I'm sharing the broadcast real quick but then we're going to uh, show you the perfect push-up and then we'll do a modified push-up. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna wait for about 20 people to get in here. Thank you guys very much for joining in. Favorite Maris, good morning. Great seeing you yesterday. Hey, Rosemary, hope you're okay. This broadcast is gonna be great for you, Rose, if you stay on watching for me. Uh, Stephanie Sukas is in from New York. Is that New York State or New York City? Andrea Green, another Aussie, awesome. Man, I really should come to Australia. How would you guys like to see me in Australia come speak? I got a lot of fans in Australia. I want to go. I want to see some rugby. I played rugby for yeah. four years here. Thank you for the hearts. Love it. Up. You played rugby in Australia? No, here. Oh, that here. Would be <laughs> something amazing. That's funny. I spent six months in uh, Adelaide at Flinders, for those of you who don't know. I uh, went there as an exchange student you know, or a travel abroad student back when I was in college. And I was there in 90, fall of 1994. I turned 22 there. And. Uh, had a great time in Adelaide. I've uh, been back to Australia twice. Um, Sydney and Canberra. Do you know what the capital of Australia is? I don't. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's Sydney. I, white, that's what I would have said. That's yeah, what I would have said. Yeah, these Americans think it's Sydney, but it's Canberra. Canberra. Oh. Okay. Uh, Americans call it Canberra, but it's Canberra. Right? Okay. You ready to work? Yeah, let's do this, man. Because right. we, I got to pay this guy by the hour now. So, uh, so yeah. let's let's... Perfect push-up. Let's do it on the ground. You don't need a ton of warming up. Okay. Um, for this, this can serve as a warm up for more intense uh, exercises. All right. So we're gonna you're gonna start lying on your stomach just like you did last time. Lying on my stomach, and you're gonna handle the camera. Yeah. I'll move that so we'll switch spots here. Oh, I should take this. Let me get take this down here. It's a little chilly this morning. The sun's out. Okay. So the guns are out. How's that look? That's how it goes. Yep. Like that. Just the angle right yeah. Oh yeah. There he is. Out? There he is. What happens if you lay down and you fall back asleep? 
It means you should you shouldn't partied all night long. Oh, no, we have to do work. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's put those thumbs right underneath. Okay. For the perfect push up. Now I, I can go on all day with somebody in this position. All the different things you can do. You heard that, ladies. He could go on all day. He made the claim. So <laughs> to get your hands in the best position, which is your hands right underneath your shoulders. So you're going to take your thumb and you're just going to hook it right up underneath your armpit right there, just like that. And then just, just turn your hand flat, just lay it right down. Okay. okay. Now we want to get, now we want to get the body nice and tight. Okay. Nice right and tight. Down. So first thing we want to do is get that core locked in. Watch yeah. the difference. Yeah, there you go. That core tight. Uh, pull the shoulder blades, pinch them, pinch them together, pull them uh, back and down. Oh wow. Alright. Now. Shoulder blades together, pull back. Only coming up from your knees, from the knees. No, let's, do, let's, let's do a regular push up. Oh, you want to do regular? Okay, if you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm so tight, and then we You just back. get locked in, Six. straight as an arrow. Boom, look at that. Nice, and back down. The key is keeping the core real tight, right? Very tight, very tight. Even even kind of exaggerated where you're kind of like curled forward like a C, okay? Now we're gonna take it one step at a time. Let's go through okay. little mini progressions, okay? okay? So if I'm gonna start out doing push-ups. Which is a lot of my patients, you know, they're not, they don't have strong cores. They, they, they say, they're, you're doing a program, okay? Let's say you're super smart because you're part of my community. <laughs> and, 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 and some part of your program says push ups. It's a repo trainer. Push ups, okay? It's gonna be, it's gonna come about one way or the other. It's a good test of upper body strength and endurance. So, you can't do a full pull push up like that. What you will do is you'll go down, you will bend the knees, you'll do a modified push up just like that. Go for it. Girly push up. Then you will go, I, w I like for people to go all the way down to the ground because the ground is, well hopefully your ground, wherever you're working out, is very flat and it's going to reset you to flat every time. But mm -hmm. now, start doing multiple, do like five push-ups mm -hmm. and start to pike your, push your butt into the air. Or like this and then now watch go down. You see, you're, he, he'll default because he knows like the proper movement but if you keep, if you don't go all the way down, you're going to end up either sagging oh, right here. Like. Right, exactly. You're going to sag. Exactly. There you go. Or you're going to push your butt way too high in the air. So the, the ground is going to keep you true and flat. Now. I like that one tip you gave me where you, you said lift your, your hands off the ground. That's the next one I was going to get into. So the next one's going to be a hand release push up. Yeah. So, so you, some people, even you though I say. Five? Even though I say go all the way down to the ground, they're going to step stop short, right? They're just because it's uncomfortable to get that deep. So I say I want a hand release, which means I momentarily want you to just pick your hands up, put them back down, do a push up, go back down, pick your hands up. But there we go. That's a hand release push up. Okay, modified. that's super modified because the knees are bent. Now the. the Without going into hand position next, which you can change a little bit, the only other way to do a push-up from here is a full push-up. But maybe you're not ready for that quite yet, okay? Maybe you're not ready to go straight from the knee all the way down to a full planked push-up. That's where the ball comes in. And I don't, you've not done this type before. You've actually put your hands on it, mm -hmm. which is way tougher, okay? Okay. And we'll touch on that. So you're gonna stand. I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. There we go. Let's get the ball over here. Good. Now, now it's the first time you're doing this, so we're, let's back the ball up a little because it's gonna roll. So come back this way. Good. Kneel down right here and face the ball. Good. Now, walk yourself over so that this ball is somewhere in between, like right, right at your knee, basically. Oh, you mean like this? Exactly. See, okay. now for that, I'm going to turn the camera. <laughs> for for my, that shoulder question, right? Yeah. What's, a, what's some good exercises for the shoulder? This is building stability in the shoulder. Over there. Uh -huh. See how you're stabilizing? This is super wobbly. All of the balance right now, his, since his feet aren't on the ground, it's completely coming from those arms and those shoulders. Okay. Correct. Right. Now, 
when you do a push up now, keep straight. Okay. Like like you're a seesaw. Okay. Go ahead and do one. Take your face all the way to you ah. see that? Like an acrobat. <laughs> Boom. Smash now my nose. That's great. That's great. If you are ready to make it a if you need a little bit less intensity, you're just gonna back off, walk oh, your hands up. So for like a real beginner. Ruby inner, you're there, but you're learning how to pull, how to hold your body straight like this. You see how the body's doing like the seesaw motion. And if oh. you're ready for more intensity, you will walk it all the way until only your feet are on the ball. Okay. okay. Which is super intense. So this is more advanced. Exactly. Okay. There is there. Is, look at that. Looks like no problem. I'm getting warm, man. Exactly. And and you're just kind of goofing around on the ball. <laughs> You know, you, sometimes you're going to fall off that thing. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Um, then there's hand placement. Okay, you can you can go a little bit wider. A wider arm stance. You're go go right this way. Show. Yeah, actually go so your head is facing towards the camera. Oh, okay. And you can do a modified okay. um, push-up with a wide arm. Okay. There's super wide arm like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That is going to get more of your pectorals because you're putting them on a stretched position. Oh yeah. With your hands right underneath you need your big pecs. Right underneath your armpits. That's 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 more narrow. I would say that's like a standard. You can go with your hands. They call them like a diamond push-up. So make a diamond with your fingers. Okay. That is much more oh, tricep. That's hard. Much more tricep involved. That's hard. Okay. So there's tons of variations. You can keep it fresh and, and, and uh, you know, One not so boring. Point. You hit different parts of your upper body. Uh, let's see. I'm out. We got, good morning. <laughs> Wake up. Take some up. questions. <laughs> Go ahead and answer some yeah, questions. I'll that, do, I'm, I'll do I'm it looking again. over here. Yeah, ask questions. If you have any questions about these, can I do them with this? Can I do them with that? All right. There's so one more time. Tight core. That's the key right there. Tight core, tight core. Do it in a mirror. Do it with your phone facing you like this, because it's a great mirror. So you can see, record yourself doing some push-ups. And show them the shoulder position again, because I think that's super important. Shoulder position yeah. is? Together and down. Back and down. Get the, these two bones right here, the scapula, you want to pull them together, yeah. pinch them together, and then pull them, drop them down, like you were trying to put them in your back pocket. Right? You take them back, you pull them down. But I see too many people like try to like their necks drop down. Yes. Out. So what you want to do is you want to create a long neck. Long neck. You want to be tall even though you're short. You're laying down. <laughs> <laughs> you're short. <laughs> Think thin. Be tall. That's that's the key. Um, yeah. I'm exhausted. Great. This is a good warm up. Right? That's our warm up. Was it too taxing? Was it stressful on the it shoulders? It was kind of taxing. Um, then you can start moving in different planes of motion, right? What is that? You, you've got the you can push up going, kind of pushing up. Yeah. Maybe I can maybe I can reach one hand up in the air. Oh. Like this. Maybe I can start to rotate. Now we're doing some yoga, right? You, some some rotations. But that's really more more that's advanced. Balance is very it's much more advanced. Well, oh, maybe we'll show you that next week. Maybe we when I'm stronger, I'm getting stronger. We're working. You're working with dumbbells, and we're. So What'd you call we're, me? We're um, <laughs> very specific. We need we need to keep the muscles under tension. But these are great ways to get started. Thank you guys for sharing the video so much. I appreciate y'all very much. This is Workout Wednesdays with Dr. V and Miguel Cervantes. Um, Kelly wants to know what's the best exercise for legs. We'll cover legs later. Um, Kelly, so keep watching. I will answer that question today or tomorrow. I'll get to that and yeah. I need a little bit more information. Yeah, it's always like, uh, what are your targets, etc. All right. But it's probably, my answer is going to be a deadlift. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> Deadlifts are crazy. Uh, Sh uh, Faye, thank you for sharing the video, everybody. Um, leave us some comments. Tell us what you think about the workout Wednesdays. That light's harsh, but that's all right. Um, and uh, we'll be back next week, same time, same bat time, same bat channel. Like, let us know what you want us. Yeah. If there's something that you want us to talk about, we'll we'll talk about. Might it. not be the topic, but we can at, <laughs> we can at least address it. So we had a plan. What we're gonna do next week? We don't have a plan. I thought we had a plan. Like no. I think we were gonna do advanced push-ups or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, if we, right. we just made that plan up just now, we could do advanced push-ups. <laughs>
Or maybe the plank where I turn rotation. Yeah, something to make you work hard. So yeah. Hard, so. so Kyle, uh, Kylie J. Prestwich loves Workout Wednesdays. Thank you guys very much. Um, we got to run off. And uh, you guys uh, add this into your day. Don't really hurt yourself. Don't kill yourself going to the gym. It's more important, as uh, Miguel and I always tell you, get a trainer, learn proper form. You need to really learn proper form so that way you can avoid injury. Right. I was just right. talking to a patient yesterday for his one year follow up. He's, um, but he started at, he's five foot ten, uh, started at 200, uh, 300 pounds, or, you know, 298, 299, and now he's uh, 198 um, a year later. He's 198 pounds. So he's got about another 20 pounds more to go, and um, he looks great, but he hurt his wrist because he started doing CrossFit. And he was doing heavy weights one day and just <laughs> hurt his wrist. It, and it'll happen. It'll happen. He's been doing physical therapy. I use sure. wraps when I work with the barbell. Yeah. I, and so it's a good point you just brought up very quickly. You're like, you know, I can't push ups. Push ups require a lot of wrist yes. uh, extension. Okay. So if you can't do this, there are those things that they call them the per It's actually a thing called the perfect push up. It's the bar. It's, no, it's no. actually like this disc with a handle yeah. on it that rotates, that kind of goes with a more natural arm movement. Or you can just use a pair of dumbbells, or you can just go up on your knuckles. Yeah, you can go on your knuckles. Yeah. Yeah. Cool beans. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your comments. Please share the broadcast. We'll be back next Wednesday. See you next time. Say bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. <laughs>